Hey there everyone, my name is Eduardo Arroyo, but you can call me Ed, and today I am here checking out the Buffalo Bayou Park, very close to downtown as you can see, here in Houston, Texas. Yes, you guys, you heard that right. Today we are visiting the Buffalo Bayou Park, which is a 160 acre of what they call an urban green space. And that is because it is very close to downtown, as you can see. The theme for today is going to be views. I wanna take you to some very cool and interesting locations around the park, so that if you ever choose to visit here in the future, you can check them out on your own. So if that interests you, come with me. All right, so we made it to the first location of today. This is the Houston Police Officers Memorial. As the name points out, this is a memorial, right? Uh, this is a public recognition to the daily sacrifices that uh, police officers have to endure and also honors those who have actually died in the line of duty. So this is a very symbolic uh, monument here uh, at the park. To me, this area looks like one of those step pyramids, right? Uh, that you see in some parts of Mexico and Latin America. The memorials resemblance to that architecture makes it very interesting to look at and it makes it also a great opportunity to take some cool pictures so let's do that right now you can take pictures with the city in the background just like this or you can place your camera right there at the bottom and take pictures like this like this or like this i really really like the design like i said and the location is even better with the city in the background right there let's go to our next location. Up next, we are visiting a location called Love Lock Bridge, and you will see why the peculiar name in just one second. Right away, I'll admit that this is sort of cheating because it is not technically within uh, the Buffalo Bayou Park, but it is right next to it. This is a bridge on top of a freeway, as you can see. This is Allen Parkway, if I'm not mistaken, and uh, I think you can already tell why this place is so popular. What makes this place so interesting is the fact that couples from all over come here to leave locks. All it is is to symbolize uh, their everlasting love. Ah, oh, that is very cute. Um, but yeah, all you see here are different locks that people have left over the years, which is pretty cool. Cities all across the world have something like this. I think the first city to popularize this was Paris, no surprise there. But just so you know, Houston has its very own and it is next to the Buffalo Bayou Park. But we are here for the views, right? If you look around the fence, there's some sections that have been torn apart just so that you can peek towards downtown. That is the skyline right there and it looks very cool from this angle. I think this has to be my favorite section from all of this uh, place. This is a very Instagrammable, worthy shot. What else can I say, you guys? This is a pretty cool location. Definitely check it out if you have a chance. Now, let's go and move to our next location. The next location we're visiting has to be one of my favorite ones. This is actually where I opened today's video. It is the Eleanor Tinsley Park. This is, from what I could gather, the closest and the most wide open 
area in the park where you can get amazing views of downtown. And when I say downtown, I'm talking about the skyline right there. Before COVID hit, this section of the park was heavily used for a multitude of different uh, festivals and events happening in the city of Houston. This is also the place where they set up the Bud Light Amphitheater. They set it up on that side over there. And uh, look at that, someone's getting proposed tonight. <laughs> Anyways, uh, yeah, they, they set up the, the amphitheater on that side of the park and it gets full of people from what I've seen on pictures online. I'll show you a few of them, but that is no surprise, right? With this amazing backdrop right there, it is a no-brainer. Such an amazing and useful location with an even better view. Definitely check it out if you get the chance. Hey there you guys, so I just arrived here at the very last place that I want to share with you. Uh, this is the Buffalo Bayou Park Cistern. This was actually the main reason why I wanted to visit uh, the park. And as you can see, the line is already forming. Uh, we still have a few minutes to go, but it should be very fun. So I'll see you inside. As we made our way inside the cistern, it became apparent that they wanted to make darkness part of the experience. And it was. However, it made the experience harder to share. I've seen some videos about this place in the past and it seems to be lit up. So I don't know what happened this time. Anyway, I'll share what I can. In case you don't know, a cistern is a reservoir system featuring a waterproof container made out of concrete, steel, wood, or fiberglass. It is stored underground where it collects rainwater. The cistern we are visiting today was built in 1926 and it was used to store a large portion of the city of Houston's drinking water. As time progressed, the cistern was used less and less until it was finally decommissioned. If you ask Houstonians today about this place, most probably won't even know about it. A quick side note, the Buffalo Bayou Park, which we are visiting today, is a relatively new project. It was actually completed in 2015. It was when the park was being planned out slash created when the cistern was rediscovered. That's when restoration efforts were made to turn this place into what it is today. The cistern was open to the public on 2016, but now its purpose is to host 30 minute history tours like the one we are doing today and also host rotating art installations. From this experience, I will recommend you to get tickets for the tour as the information they provide is great, but also check out one of the art installations if available so that you can actually see inside. All in all, I would recommend the experience. All right, you guys, so I just finished going through the tour and let me tell you, it was a good experience, but it wasn't the experience that I was expecting. Nothing wrong with the tour itself, but with the area, the location, right? It's very dark. Uh, down there so you could barely see anything um, with like a normal camera right and you're not allowed to take any like lights or anything like that um, so it was very um, hard to see anything <laughs> hard to show you anything um, like your eyes adapt to the to the low uh, light down there so you can actually see things um, by yourself but whenever you want to show something with the camera it's very hard anyways you guys that does bring this video to an end hopefully you guys enjoyed if you guys liked the video as much as I did please go ahead and click on the like button and subscribe to my channel for more interesting and cool travel videos just like this one and always remember to be kind have an open mind i'll see you next time